Today we are going to continue the video I cut short last week and we're going to look at the fun parts of Google Photos. So let's get started. Hi, I am Pixel Pia and this is my third video about Google Photos. I have earlier showed the interface on both the PC and the phone and looked at how to organize and how to sync your photos. But today we're going to take a look at the more fun parts. So let's put my screen up here and continue where we left off last week. Let's go back to library and click utilities. And when we come into utilities, the first thing we have is animation. Let's pick a couple of photos of me here and hit create. As you can see, now these three photos go around as an animation. One, two, three. I can add it to album. I can use as my screensaver or my contact photo. I can turn it into a slideshow. Now, let's take a look at collage. Collage, let's pick the same photos. This time I'm picking four of them. Create, I can have between two and nine photos in a collage. And here we have all four in a little square here. I can work each photo individually to change it. I click on the first one. I click on the second symbol here. And I have a lot of things I can do to change it. I can adjust brightness, contrast. Let's adjust the brightness on that first one. Let's make it a little dark down. And as you can see, it's only one of the four photos that changes. You can use filters on the whole thing. And maybe I want it in black and white. As you can see, you can play around with filters. If you hit more, you can work with all the other photo editing app you have on your phone. So that was how to create and work with the photo. The last thing in here is a movie. You can create your own movie. You can select up to 50 photos in a movie. But there are also some pre-made things. A year of smiles, Mother's Day and so forth. So let's do a year of smiles and create movie. It says it may take a while. What is gonna happen now is that it searched through all my photos. And every photo where someone is smiling will be added on. Up to 50 photos. Under organize your photos, you can move to archive. And those are photos that you don't need to see when you open photos. You might have them somewhere else or they're older and you just mark them as we did before with everything we was working on and hit done. They will still show up in albums if you are searching, but they don't clutter up your very first scene here when you go to photos they will not show up here anymore but you can always reach them by going to your archive under library and here we have all the archive pictures i have if i made a mistake i just mark that photo and under the three dots i find unarchive and that moves it back to my general photo section so let's go back here to utilities and movies and let's see is our movie done yet let's do a doggy movie i know that will go faster just like we had people named here i have duncan a doggy name so i choose that create a movie and hit okay while it's working on that under there we have free up space i can free up 2.6 megabytes by clicking that free up those are the photos that now are auto archived to google photos they will take them off storage in my phone to save space here but i can still reach them through google photos there is just one more thing I didn't talk about today, and that is the print store. It's on top here when you go to your library. You can print photo books, just hit make a photo book, and you choose the photos you want to have in your book. Photo prints, premium print series, or canvas prints. 
I think something is ready now in my utilities. Either the smiles or the dog. Let's click. Both of them are ready now. Here we have a year of smiles. If I click that. It added music and it added smiling photos. I can go in and edit the length of each clip here. I can change the music or have no music. And I can change the orientation of the movie, portrait or landscape. I can also go in and change the order. I can move the clip down. I can duplicate it or I can insert another clip right there. So let's take a look at the doggy movie. That was the music added to that theme. So movies is something you can really have a lot of fun with. I hope this was inspiring to you. And if you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments down below. In the description, I will have a link to my earlier videos about Google Photos. And in my next video, I will share my favorite photo editing software for the computer, on the web, and on the phone. And on Wednesday, I will have a live stream where the focus will be on you, my viewers. I will try and answer all your questions you might have and I want you to express to me what type of tutorials you would like to see on my channel. So I hope to see you there on Wednesday. Until next time, remember, never stop learning.